Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. A lot of bits and bobs to talk about today. Uh, we're going to start with Bitcoin. Um, same strategy here. Um, we're going to be at 62 and 52. Try and sell 90% of the position and hold 10% long. For the sake of cliche, uh, I'm just going to say it looks like this time uh, it might be slightly different. So we are not going to be buying 6200s here. Uh, we will have a look at 5200, but we do not have bids in. It looks like this is our chance, or it looks to me that this is going to be the break of 5000. Uh, next couple of days here in Bitcoin. This I think will be um, an excellent buying opportunity. We just want to see how it goes. Knowing Bitcoin it may go over the weekend just to screw a lot of uh, a lot of people who are in the ETF or conventional world. Bitcoin seems to do that a lot. Uh, but we're treating this with caution. Um, Keep an eye on Bitcoin here. Uh, if you've never owned Bitcoin or if you're managing longs, this is going to be um, a dicey time for those managing longs. If you've never owned it, this will be a, probably an excellent time for you to buy some cheap coins. Um, we'll talk about 5,000 uh, as it trades because you can also depending on your liquidity pr provider <coughs> break trade this to the downside as in get short to get long uh, but we will talk about that if we break 6,000 in the next couple of days we'll start talking about the ways to trade uh, the psychological 5,000 level let's quickly talk about Tesla we all saw Mr. Musk's tweet yesterday uh, we are tactically short Tesla at 350 for the last year, kind of just playing it on the short side. We did square this time, luckily, uh, before earnings uh, when it was down at 300. And I don't know, we were actually just too lazy to reinstate our 350s. Uh, so it wasn't exactly great trading, it was just more laziness. But I just want to say... Um, as much as I admire this guy, and he looks like he's got a good brain, good head on his shoulder, brain-wise, uh, he's breaking one of the cardinal rules in finance for the privateer guys. You want to keep below the radar in finance. As the Chinese say, the nail that sticks out gets hammered. He's backed himself into a corner here. Um, saying he's going to take this company private, especially if he's relying on s relying on Saudi money, which I think is innately unreliable, um, is my experience with Saudi money. This is just a space to watch. Uh, it's a pretty simple trade for me if he thinks he's going to take this thing private at... Uh, four and a quarter or, or 411 or whatever the number is uh, it's a pretty simple sell uh, anywhere near th above 390 between 390 and 411 uh, with your stop loss sort of let's call it I don't know 450 or stop loss at the buyout area and if this doesn't go through he's really really screwed uh, and he's broke he's broken probably for me the most important law in finance uh, he is not traveling below the radar anyway there's my tes Tesla spiel uh, let's look at euro dollar broke 115.10 as we spoke about on Twitter yesterday still core short is our bias here um, this looks like probably an interesting place to sell here between 116 and a quarter and 116.50. We 
we will cut uh, shorts, which would be a shame because we have a really nice average uh, above 116.50 today, and then back to the drawing board if we do see that. Elsewhere, we have Sterling Yen made a very interesting print, 143.80. Uh, could be a double bottom there, uh, although in this in this anti, this negative sterling period, I don't know if uh, it's going to get enough energy to the top side. But this is an interesting technical point. There will now be stops below 143.80. Could be a momentum trade down there, or it could be just pick off, grab cash. Uh, if we get close, you know they're going to have to push it through those stops. Cable on its knees had a chance yesterday up there at 75 but, but really uh, just just didn't uh, didn't have the energy not really sure what to do with cable here we need some more news obviously a soft brexit would make this thing fly because people are very very short cable but don't think in the middle of August we're going to get any soft brexit news and so we're just sitting and waiting. We do have our eye now on this uh, sterling, sterling yen level. Dollar yen broke by a couple of pips. This trend line. This is a redraw. That's why it looks so beautiful. You got to be careful of redraws. Got a nice long leg here. Dollar yen. We will try and get short dollar yen through 111. The figure especially if the story is is on side so maybe some sort of risk off story or a BOJ story uh, for now there's no trade in dollar yen we're just watching but below 111 the figure now becomes very very important for dollar yen and this uptrend since April some, something to watch there what else is out there dollar cad bullish engulfing last night so we made a new low, engulfed the day before his bar, closed up at 49. Confirmation that this is this is real uh, comes up through 130.76. But really, you kind of want to wait for 130.94. We don't really know what's going on in Dollar Cat here, but this is a pretty important bar. I wouldn't be short. Let's just put it that way. Uh, we're watching for more possible prints for a better setup but dollar yen printed a very bullish bar yesterday that's about it Look, we're, we're not super excited about today we have um, you know very little going on we have an FOMC speaker at uh, 845 New York time crude oil inventories and then we have the RBNZ policy statement tonight no news in Europe no news in the UK no news in the US so it's likely to be another incredibly dull slow paint dry type of day nonetheless we will be watching and we will be ready in case it kicks off uh, but of course we'll have a book with us so if it's dead we can get some reading done good luck out there people i will talk to you tomorrow ciao